Larger than life, witty, a good listener, Brianna Jai's family said she filled their home with the sound of laughter and chat, a home they described today as unbearably quiet. Hours later, her killers, one someone she considered a friend, another, a boy she'd never even met, were given life sentences for a murder described as brutal and senseless. Both were just 15 at the time of their crime. Me being suspect is because like, I was the last person I've seen or like, how come I'm a suspect? What is? How come I'm a suspect? How come you're a suspect? Because I'm the last person I've seen or is it? I don't know. All, all the information I've received is you are a, a suspect, OK? Scarlett Jenkinson and Eddie Ratcliffe were arrested at their homes less than 24 hours after Brianna's body was found in a park in broad daylight. I can't explain it. Both were seen arriving at and fleeing the scene, the murder weapon and Eddie's bloodstained clothes barely concealed in his bedroom. A list of types of serial killer and a murder plan found in hers, one of what both Scarlett's lawyer and the judge called childlike mistakes at odds with the severity of the crime. Thousands of messages they sent each other opened, she said, a window into their frame of mind. Scarlett, I have concluded that the primary motivation for Brianna's murder was your deep desire to kill. The messages reveal your fantasies and show your sadistic motives. Eddie, although your motives may not have been the same, you knew what Scarlett wanted to do and why. You understood her desire to see Brianna suffer. You actively participated in this brutal murder, knowing the sadistic motives behind it. In those messages, Eddie repeatedly referred to Brianna as it and made deeply transphobic and dehumanising remarks. I find also that you, Eddie, were motivated in part by hostility towards Brianna because she was transgender. It was to this park near Warrington that the pair lured Brianna in broad daylight last February. They'd compiled a list of four other children they wanted to kill, Justice Yip saying they picked Brianna because she was an easy target. Despite having a big social media following, she was anxious and sometimes lonely. When she met the pair that day, caught here on CCTV, her mother said she'd been proud and excited for her. In her impact statement, Brianna's mother described the pair as remorseless and cowardly, saying that they'd pointed the finger at each other, that they were interested only in defending themselves. She also said that at times she feels sorry for them for ruining their own lives, but that she has to remember that they felt no empathy for Brianna when they left her bleeding to death. Eddie Ratcliffe was given 20 years, Scarlett Jenkinson 22, though ultimately the parole board will decide whether they still pose a risk to society after that. Justice Yip said they may one day be eligible for rehabilitation, however cruel, she said, that may seem to those who've lost a loved one. Brianna's big sister told the court the only thing that would make her happy again would be the sound of Brianna's voice. Her loss, a pain she'll carry for the rest of her life.